Good evening and thank you for joining us on our first show that is on uh, health and lifestyle for 2020. We would like to wish you a very happy new year. We hope that your, uh, your year is going on well. And as usual, you know, this is a show whereby we get to talk about things affecting young people. We try to come up with solutions, just have conversations around uh, topics that interest the young people. And tonight we're going to be talking about setting goals. That is, it's a new year and every other year we have people have making resolutions. But today we really want to understand if I made resolutions, probably if you made resolutions in 2019, should you forget about maybe some of the things that you've not achieved and skip to making new resolutions in 2020 or how should we go about that? And to help us talk about this uh, topic tonight, we have Sarah Muni, who is a life coach. We have Yvonne. Yamala, who is a youth leader, and we have Roy Keane, who is a business speaker. You can be part of our conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 news. You can also reach me on Twitter at Patricia Moriuki1. And thank you very much for really finding the time to join us this new year of 2020. So guys, thank you very much for coming here. I hope the year has been fair to you. Has. Fantastic. Fantastic. Nice. It's just January. It's just January. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So at least the first people have asked if their January is January or and you've given me a positive response. So yeah. thank you for finding the time to come and talk about this today. And my first question would be for you, Sarah, you're a life coach. I'm sure you interact with people, especially when it comes to setting goals, uh, uh, especially when people probably you have a project, there are plans you have to put up. Would you tell us, tell our viewers today, maybe for someone who does not understand, what do we mean when we talk about setting goals? Setting goals is very important because life is progressive. Mm -hmm. We live life forwards. If you want to grow in your business, in your career, in your ministry, in your passion, in your area of gift, gifting, profession, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you need to set goals. Mm -hmm. You know, because you cannot hit a target you do not have. Okay. You need to have a vision. And uh, I usually say um, it's very good, and especially when we're starting the year. Mm -hmm. At least you have um, a projection this year, what do I want to achieve? You know, because if you don't, if you cannot perceive it, you cannot conceive it, you okay. cannot achieve it. Mm -hmm. So it's very important you, you set goals for yourself. And we usually say this. I mean, we can talk about dreams in that same breath. You can speak about dreams, vision, but um, your dreams are, is something big, something huge you're working on, you see. But a goal, when we speak of setting goals, it means that you have broken down that dream into a timeline. Okay. It is measurable, it is specific, and there's, there's a timeline to it. Yes, so we need to set a timeline. So that's why 12 months is a timeline. By December 31st, 2020, I want to have done one, two, three. Yes, so it's very imp it's paramount. I'm telling you, you, we cannot progress. You cannot build your business, anything, you, even your life, if you don't have a goal or an endeavor that you're pursuing. Okay, so Roy, for you as a, as a business speaker, I'm sure you set goals for your for your for yourself, as much as you get to speak to people. So, what does setting goals mean to you, as an individual? I believe as an individual mm -hmm. that for young youths out there who are uh, actively pursuing business or in their careers. I believe that it is quite paramount for that dream that mm -hmm. you envision uh, yourself succeeding in the next uh, year or so, mm -hmm. or depending on the time scope that you have put to achieve mm -hmm. your, uh, your, your dream, mm -hmm. that you should put this uh, to definite achievable uh, milestones along the way, okay. which you can measure using goals. Mm -hmm. And for people out there, uh, uh, um, me included, one hindrance I think that uh, many young people face, especially in their goal setting process, is a lack of uh, accountability and planning. Okay. And so when you look at such, um, especially now when they're starting the year, many people keep saying new year, new me, but mm -hmm. we keep seeing the same old uh, habits out there. Mm -hmm. But one uh, solution I might uh, maybe give to people out there is something called productivity hacks, okay. which is the things or the situations or environments that you put yourself in to make yourself uh, achieve those small little steps along the way mm -hmm. to make you be able to achieve that uh, goal. Okay. Yeah. Yvonne, for you, what does setting goals mean? You're a youth leader. I'm sure you have things that you want to achieve in the year 2020, but what does that term mean to you? In my own perception, setting goals, it's all about what is it that you really want to achieve. Okay. But you see, you cannot talk about wanting to achieve a goal without, set, without timelines. Okay. A goal is set with timelines. You can say, in three months' time, I want to have this and this. 
after six months time I want to have this and this. Then you should also set what is it that you're going to do to achieve the goal because you cannot achieve a goal without doing something. That means you'll have to program yourself and also plan such that you're in a position if this is the task that I'm going to commit myself in three months this is what I want to achieve. So like you have to commit yourself. Also plan yourself and make sure time management is very important in goal setting. Okay. Because if you don't work with time, there is nothing you'll achieve within. After that period, you might find yourself regretting that I didn't achieve such a, and such a goal. Mm -hmm. And you see, goals, when you set goals, you don't just say you're setting goals. They need to be written down. Mm -hmm. You have to jot them down, you write them and say, I have to write this down such that when you achieve even one, you put a tick that I have achieved this and this is remaining, I'll achieve this within this period of time. Okay. Such that after that time, you'll go back to your draw book and ask yourself, did I achieve this? Yes, I achieved. I didn't achieve this. Why didn't I achieve this? Mm -hmm. I need to do something about it. Okay. So we've talked about what does it mean to, to set uh, goals, whether it's business, whether it's academic and all that. But for someone probably who has tried it before and, it, and uh, for them they found out that maybe like in 10 they only managed to only achieve one and they lost hope and they're like they just live in a freelance life and they're like I, whatever happens happens or does not happen does not happen. So Sarah would you talk to us about why now should we why do we need to come up to sit down and take time to really set goals whether it, when it's a new year whether it's a new project whether it's something that we really want to venture in. You see, the thing is, uh, what did you do to achieve that one goal that mm -hmm. you did not do and you, for all the other nine goals? Mm -hmm. You see, that's the thing. What did you do to succeed in that one? Because mm -hmm. that's where, I mean, if, it's, if you put in more effort, you put in, uh, you look for help, you learn, you know, you look for knowledge and all that, you look for support and all, it's the same thing you need to apply to all of these other areas. Okay. And you see what happens mostly. We have people who are, you know, 20, you are living, this is 2020, we are now living 2016 goals, or this now when we really want to focus on 2014 goals. We wanted mm -hmm. to lose weight five years ago. We mm -hmm. are still there. We wanted to build a house for Made home. We are still there. Mm -hmm. We wanted to maybe start eating healthy. We are, we are still, still there. Eating. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and now you're detoxing, you know, because to Mekula <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> yeah. you want to detox, but we are still there. Mm -hmm. Today is 8th. We are still there. You know, so the thing is, you need to look what did not work for me. Mm -hmm. What do you know? Is it that I put, you know, so many things to do mm -hmm. or I just wasn't focused? I was just lazy. You know, we always know our undoing. Mm -hmm. We always know what causes us to, to fail. You need to realize what is too small. Is it laziness? Is it just, you know, you dismiss some important things? We need to know that. And then also, uh, if something did not work, sometimes you put in effort. You know, sometimes we plan it. You put in effort and actually it just doesn't work. You had a strategy. You actually had a plan. Mm -hmm. And you said, you know, I'll be saving about, my goal is to save about, you know, like a young person. My goal is to save about maybe 12 thousand mm -hmm. uh, the whole year maybe I'll save maybe you're in school mm -hmm. um, I'll save like a K every month mm -hmm. you know and then you go along if you April hey you know things just go yeah. so then yeah you, you need to find you know you need to change the strategy you don't change the goal because mm -hmm. it matters mm -hmm. it really matters to you. that goal matters what does it mean to you mm -hmm. if it's that important then change the strategy okay. you just say don't change the goal post change the strategy mm -hmm. if you can't get to Westlands through this road you know it's any and you know you have to get to Westlands mm -hmm. maybe you're looking for a job it's an interview Really, you can find another route. Get into a Buddha Buddha or something. Get, go use this other route. Yeah, but get to your destination. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I like what Sarah Sarah has mentioned that maybe in 2016 you wanted to build something for your mom in the village, and it's 2017 in Asia, 2018 in Asia. You still not managed. So uh, for you, Roy. For someone who had a goal in 2016, who set a goal in 2016, and they are really trying to make sure that this goal is achieved. Do we say this person has failed? Do they forget? Or how do we now motivate this person probably? Because there are two ways. You may be doing it the wrong way, maybe you need to stop. Or you might need to just put uh, new strategies, as Sarah said. So what do we, what message would you uh, have for people who have set goals that have taken them a very long period of time? What are they doing wrong? What do they need to do differently? Okay, for that uh, uh, question, mm -hmm. I'll start by basing my own examples. Mm -hmm. That back in 2016, I had some uh, predetermined goals mm -hmm. for myself, mm -hmm. and seeing year after year, all the way from 2016, 2017, all the way till 2018, mm -hmm. is when I notice a pattern that every time I keep setting a goal about reaching maybe this amount of money mm -hmm. or reaching this place uh, in my career journey, mm -hmm. I kept seeing that as if I'm not getting there. Mm -hmm. And when I managed to look back, 
I don't as per se think as that person as a failure okay. in case you have not achieved it, but I sort of look at it as a changing strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, let me use, for example, uh, maybe what you have, uh, maybe you have a goal of uh, doing a CPA study mm -hmm. or you have a goal of maybe getting X number of customers for your business, right? Now, if you see that in this location or in this uh, environment, or these people I'm around in, that they are not making uh, impact in my life in mm -hmm. terms of uh, mo the motivation required, because you cannot be greater than the environment you are in, right? Okay. So if you see that that environment is acting against what you are planning to do for that uh, year, you should, I think, uh, change your environment. And the second thing is, uh, I think, for goals, if it's not simple enough for you to comprehend on a day-to-day -day basis, if your goal is sort of a complex, maybe kind of thing, maybe you have 10 goals, instead of just breaking them down into two or three goals to, mm -hmm. uh, to be doing every three or six months, I think that can also be a hindrance. So that your mind uh, can also keep track of what you're planning to do. Okay. And uh, finally, maybe you can say, if it's a goal that... Uh, that you really purpose to maybe achieve. I think where your, where your money is is where your heart is. Mm -hmm. For example, people uh, who want to advance more in their career, mm -hmm. let them invest more in personal development, let mm -hmm. them invest more in coaches, let okay. them invest more in, uh, in these uh, events or programs that will actively cost them. You know, once you put a cost to that dream or goal that you have, mm -hmm. you'll always be thinking about it from Time to, to time. time, so that's uh, that will be my uh, pinot to them. Okay, yeah. so Yvonne, I'm sure that you've been setting goals. I'm sure that you you have maybe some you've realized that some that you've achieved and others that you've not. But would you tell us like what are, what are, what are some of the important like what is some of the importance that you've been able to realize along the way when you set up a goal to achieve something and when you don't? So that maybe for someone who's watching us at home and they don't take it as a serious thing, they know that there is an importance. There is something that comes out from when I decide to approach this thing, when I've planned for it, and then I just go in blindly. You see, when you don't set goals, or, let me, or rather, let me start with when you set goals. Mm -hmm. When you set goals, it is actually driving your life. Mm -hmm. It is everything that, you're going, everything that you're going to do every day. It will revolve around the goals. Mm -hmm. And if you set your goal, you're going to know your purpose. It will drive you. You'll know this is what I want to achieve in life. And so I have to set my goals. For example, you are setting a goal of, you want, as, just as Sarah had said, for example, you, want, you are a student and you want to save 12,000 in a year. Mm -hmm. So you'll be like, you cannot wait till December. Then you say, oh, 31st is tomorrow. And I had planned to save 12,000. Yeah. So you should find 12,000 somewhere and put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. That one will not work. Mm -hmm. This goal of 12,000, you should even divide it. Mm -hmm. you can divide it per month or per week or whichever way that you can mm -hmm. such that you're in a position to accomplish it on daily basis oh, okay. and that will drive you give you that force mm -hmm. to every day work towards it so you'll have that admiration mm -hmm. that aspiration to work every day every day you'll know I have a target of saving 100 shillings so every day you'll be working towards saving 100 shillings as much as you'll have other expenditures you'll be spending but then you'll know I have a goal of saving 12,000 and each day I'm saving 100 so like you'll have that driving force mm -hmm. and it will actually help you in life mm -hmm. but then if you don't have a goal you'll be there like you'll know as long as I'm living you say you'll be like because we know life is for free and it's our maker who give us this life mm -hmm. so you'll be like if I live as long as I live as long as I live and my parents are providing for me I'm more good to go of which that is not the way it should go you see even the way God put us in this world he gave us reasons to live and some of the reasons are setting goals for ourselves mm -hmm. you see we should find that driving force in ourselves and the driving force is actually a goal whenever you set a goal you should you'll have that driving force to every day work towards it mm -hmm. you know this is what to achieve in, this is what I want to achieve in life every day it will give you sleepless nights but at the at long last or at the end of it all you'll have achieved it so it's the best way the best place to be in life is setting the goals mm -hmm. but then th those goals let them not let them let us not make the mountain goals yeah. like we should break them into manageable points mm -hmm. like they should be small small it's things that we can achieve on daily basis mm -hmm. let's not just have a mountain goal it is not achievable if unless we break it okay let me say this yeah? mm -hmm. because there are seven areas seven or six areas that you know encompass a human life yeah? mm -hmm. we have the maybe uh, we have the emotional emotional wellness mm -hmm. we have mental mm -hmm. mental health and wellness that's mm -hmm. that's another area mm -hmm. there's spiritual mm -hmm. there's career and professional there's uh, which one physical mm -hmm. <laughs> financial, and financial yeah. you see so you should set a goal 
in all of those areas because there are areas in your life your life revolves around all of those areas mm -hmm. you're working you are moving up and down every day because of all of those six or seven areas yeah. so make sure you have a goal for all of these areas you know because that's what will constitute your growth you can grow in one area you know like you study very well you're always the best and you're getting mm -hmm. the A's and all that mm -hmm. and then you're very poor in financial planning because you don't set goals like you only set goals that are in life just in your profession mm -hmm. so it's good you realize all of these areas and then you say life is lived daily daily so make sure that hey, in all of these areas there's something you can do every day every day if you take care of the minutes they'll take care of the of the of the hours you mm -hmm. take care of the hours they'll take care of the days okay. you take care of the days they'll take care of your years and the decade you know you are in a new decade mm -hmm. they'll yeah, take care the they'll sort you 20 mm -hmm. 30 i'm telling you when we are achieving this vision mm -hmm. of 20 that you better have a vision 20 30 for yourself yeah. apply for 10 years but then you can break it into a daily basis thing okay yeah that's a very good thing that sarah has talked about i would like us to talk about the discipline yes because sometimes you ask someone so what do you want to achieve in 2020 yeah. They don't have a job. They, they maybe they're just out of school and they they want like the most expensive car mm -hmm. or to live in the most expensive um, neighborhood. So I would like us to talk about uh, this plane. I know there's quite a lot that someone is supposed to do, but uh, I would like Sarah for you to, as a life coach. I know you're uh, interacting with a lot of people, and this is something that you do. What do you think? Are like let's talk about the two most important things that someone needs to have or someone needs to consider when setting up a goal to make sure that you don't come up with unrealistic goals that you stick to it like for a decade as we are talking about you set it in 2020 in a bundle to 2030 you've not even gone a mile to achieve that goal as young people all we have are dreams mm -hmm. we have dreams we have big ideas brilliant ideas we have the time and the energy to go for them this is the thing. Your dream should be very big. It should be even unrealistic. It should be something you look at and you say, oh, only God. Only mm -hmm. God can help me. It should be something that, you know, when you set it, you, the next thing, the next stop should be on your knees because only God can help you do that. Mm -hmm. But then, that's what I was saying, a dream broken down into a timeline mm -hmm. becomes a goal. Okay. So your dream should be unre unrealistic. Your goal should be very realistic. Mm -hmm. It should be achievable every day. Mm -hmm. It should be something you can do every day. That's why I was using that example of like saving. Mm -hmm. You know, if you realize you want to be saving like a thousand shillings per month, then you make sure in a day, or at least in a week, I'm saving this amount. I'm saying like, like uh, even it's 20 bob. You know, there's that kind of so you save 20 bob a day. It, I think it was an advert that was going, and people would say, aha, you know, 20 bob. But let me tell you, somebody who actually did that, does that faithfully, at the end of the year, I think they are smiling all the way to yeah. wherever they saved. Mm -hmm. Yes, but those of us who dismiss, say, 50 bob a week, maybe 100 bob a week, or even some people actually, their goal is to save just 200 even a month. Mm -hmm. Some people, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's a that's small, small thing, and the discipline. You know, discipline is everything. Yeah. Discipline is doing what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it, mm -hmm. you know? And in life, there's somebody who said this, a, a quote by Jim Rohn. He said that, in life, you either suffer one or two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Mm -hmm. There shall be pain. <laughs> it should be pain. So you choose, choose your pain. Yeah. Choose, choose your, your pain. pain. And choose because, wisely. Because where discipline lacks, regret is. Mm -hmm. And regret is a lament of failure. You are failed in something. Mm -hmm. And that's when people they always have, you know, you know, they have they're very remorseful or not remorseful, they feel very bad. They say, I mean I don't even set those resolutions. They don't work. Mm -hmm. No, they are not gonna work. You're the one to work them. Okay. You make them work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when you talk about setting goals, every time when you sit down and probably let's say uh, you want to start a business. You will have a plan, you sit down and look what is going to work, what is not going to work. Uh, I would like you to talk about Roy. Uh, we know setting goals are something to do with taking a risk because you're planning for something that you're not, you're not sure if, as much as you invest, you're not guaranteeing that this is going to work because you put more effort. But I want you to talk to people, someone sitting somewhere and they have the fear of trying out. So how do we make sure that Taking risk and maybe probably wanting to set goals and, and achieve things does not happen in our lives all because we have fear. Yeah. So how do we now counter fear while setting our goals? I think fear will always be a constant figure. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, having courage to go after these things mm -hmm. is not a lack of fear, but doing it regardless of the fear. Mm -hmm. So once someone has that in mind, and maybe you have that, this uh, project, this business that you want to undertake. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are wondering how much capital you need. I think you need to start by breaking it down into what are the numbers that I need. You do all the necessary calculations, and once you get all the figures, 
just know that in either one or two years, this is when my business mm -hmm. will be stable. Okay. So with that in mind, I think you should then ask yourself the very next question. If I do nothing, will I have achieved something at the end of the day? There's something that I learned from a very uh, intelligent speaker called Dan Bok, and he talked about something called the cost of inaction. Meaning that you better do something unfair mm -hmm. than doing nothing at all, then you're guaranteed of failure. So I think that person, whoever they may be, with that uh, goal for 2020, maybe I want to start a small business, maybe a moving business, maybe mm -hmm. a chicken uh, startup, mm -hmm. whichever the business that, that uh, they have in mind, it's better for them to start with the resources that they have and not wait for uh, the mass resources at hand. Mm -hmm till they maybe put that uh, dream into action. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yvonne, for a, young, uh, for a young girl, a, re a young boy watching us today, and they want to be uh, a leader in the future, and they are sitting down, and it's now 2020, and they are writing uh, down stuff, the things that they want to achieve, or the things that are going to lead them to the journey of becoming that leader that they want to be. What message do you have for them tonight? Okay, first of all, you just need to understand yourself. You see, self-awareness is very important. Because whenever you understand yourself, you know what you want to have. Mm -hmm. And actually, you've talked about fear. And fear actually means two things. It's either you face everything and rise, or you fear everything and fall. fall. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have to choose your way. Just to decide, what is it that I want to have in life? And self-awareness being the most important thing, whenever you've understood yourself and you know where do I really want to go, mm -hmm. actually you'll have the drive mm -hmm. to push you towards that goal. Mm -hmm. And actually you'll actually work. Mm -hmm. So like never listen to any, any negative person, like shut your ears towards the negative words. Mm -hmm. Because so many negative people will come to your life, so many positive will come to your life, so it's upon you to choose. Who do you want to listen to? If you hear somebody, as for myself, the negative comments that I usually hear, I usually give like, I don't listen so much to them, but then they help me to mm -hmm. also grow. Because I know what I want in life. But if you come and you see what I'm trying to do, because I know life is a struggle. So when you're trying to struggle with something, and you hear somebody is coming to criticize you, you need to put, push yourself up, like just wake up and tell yourself, I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. And push yourself towards it, just work. Work, work so hard that there is nothing that can limit you, like, just don't put limits in yourself. Okay. They usually say there are no unreasonable goals, just unreasonable deadlines. Mm -hmm. Like, everything can work out. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I, I really love how this conversation is going. Uh, we've talked about, about maybe if 2019 did not work out, do I get rid of that? Do I bring in, like, new things for 2020? I would really like, uh, Sarah, for you to specify and say something about that, because I'm sure we have people who set up goals for 2019, they probably may be managed like 10% and 90% is not done. And now they think that because it's a new year, that this new year I'm supposed to be concentrating on something. So what do we do with our goals that did, we did not achieve in 2019? Do we throw them away? Do we keep on pushing, maybe add on something else? Or do we change and have new goals for 2020? If you're working on something and it didn't work out, eh? Um, you failed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. You failed in the endeavor. Mm -hmm. That means, uh, what does it mean to you? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Because if it really means a lot to you, you'll still pursue it. Mm -hmm. You usually say, you get knocked down 10 times, you wake up 11 times. You don't give up. If you really want something, you really uh, want to achieve something, you go for it no matter what. Okay. So it doesn't mean you have failed how many times. I mean, if you read about the stories of Kina Disney, the guys who started Disney, mm -hmm. uh, the guys who have done stuff, Kina they Isaac failed, Newton, yeah. they feel that that times. was one mm. thousand times. Yeah. I mean, this guy of KFC, you know, you go there every day, you get your pocket money or your little casalo when you go mm -hmm. ten, the way you go KFC, mm -hmm. you know, to thank yourself. Mm -hmm. That guy, uh, Colonel Sanders, he filled, he filled in businesses, I don't know how many businesses. He succeeded on his 65th year. Having started and failed in business, so failure, let me tell you, is part of success, it's part of the dance, it's part of, you know, mm -hmm. the, the story. So you don't give up. You just realize, uh, just just not what was the weaknesses, what was the weak points, you know. Sometimes you can even check your weaknesses. Sometimes maybe you don't, you just don't have the power of follow through. That's why you need accountability, mm -hmm. you know. You see why we succeeded in school, why we passed in school. We, we pass all those mitochondria, moles. It's not because we love them. Oh, please. It's not because we love matrices and those things. Uh -huh. It's because there was accountability. There was an accountability system. There was a, you know, 
an exam mm -hmm. there are the, the cards there are the you know parents there are the teachers there's beating if you don't get a certain grade so there's pano <laughs> and you know kurudia high school kwa vibaya sana so you had to like put the effort. there was an accountability system mm -hmm. even in campo there's an accountability system for yeah. you see we this, you know some of us love soups. really yes yeah. <laughs> there are <laughs> soups have there's pay. retake yeah. a whole year you know, uh -huh. there's an accountability system. Even when you get you, you you get to work, there's an accountability system. There's a supervisor who's like hooked on you. You must give reports and all that. And so for some people, by the way, they will not submit that report and because until the last minute, because you know somebody is gonna ask for it. Mm -hmm. Somebody pushes you for uh, for you to like you you know do what you're supposed to do. So when it comes to your own personal goals, who pushes you? Yourself. Who are you accountable to? <laughs> no, you, you know we are very. <laughs> you can't. You see, sometimes we're very lenient with ourselves, and we have this that lazy person in us. So we all always, you know, want to take the path of least, you know, resistance. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just want to be comfortable. Make sure you have somebody who's not keeping you comfortable in your own personal goals. Get mm -hmm. a life coach. I'm a life coach myself. When mm -hmm. I come to your life, or get a mentor. Get a mentor. Mm -hmm. Get an accountability partner. Mm -hmm. When I come to your life, I ask you very hard questions. We had said we want to be here. By t by thirty first December twenty twenty, mm -hmm. where are we right now? Okay. What are we doing? What are the challenges? Things I get accountability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, time is not on our side. I would like you, uh, right, to comment on what now? How do we do it? Dif what do we do differently in twenty twenty? Uh, for young people watching us tonight or anyone watching us tonight, what do they need to do differently to make sure that we don't have nine goals out of one goal out of ten achieved? And then as we go to twenty twenty one, we still like. Deliberating, do I take this, do I drop this, and all that as you wind up. All right, thank you. Now, to start with, I think you should always look back from where you've been mm -hmm. and the places that you've stumbled along the way. Mm -hmm. So you can look back at the 2019 uh, goals that you had set mm -hmm. and look uh, and compare them with what you want to achieve as an overall dream in your life. Mm -hmm. And once you look at that, now start taking a step back and it, if possible you can break them into batches of three months three months three months each mm -hmm. and along those uh, batches of three months you can put that one specific achievable goal for example maybe i'll do cpa section one mm -hmm. in those three months those mm -hmm. specific small achievable goals and also make sure that the environment is right okay and uh, in relation to this because if you are in a place where you're actively pursuing a this mm -hmm. Even the ma human mind gets tired at times when mm -hmm. people keep weighing you down, telling you, no, you can't achieve this. Mm -hmm. Or people who are not basically that positive environment that you actually need for, for you to achieve. So just as she said, if you can get a coach, a mentor, mm -hmm. or someone else to create that positive uh, environment for mm -hmm. you to actively go after them, I think those are the two major things that you need to do in this uh, Okay, okay. Uh, Yvonne, uh, 30 seconds on your final thoughts. I always believe that having an accountability partner, just as you said, and a mentor who will walk through you through the way. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a mentor is someone who walks with you and tells you this is not wrong, mm -hmm. this is not right, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, do this, do this. Have a mentor. And, you know, a mentor should also submit. Because some people, I remember there is someone who said that I have a mentor and my mentor is a dead person. So I'm like, okay, you can have a mentor who is a dead person, <laughs> but then you need a live one who will walk you through the journey. So just have a mentor and an, an accountability partner who will always keep you on a check and ask you, what are you doing? What have you done? What have you achieved? Where are we? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for uh, coming today uh, on our... Uh, on Y254 to talk about that. I hope that people have learned. I hope as we make our, 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 we set our goals for 2020, we'll do it differently. We'll have the discipline to follow up. We'll have timelines because you've heard from Sarah, you've heard from Roy, and you've heard from Yvonne. I can't say more much than what they've said. So thank you very much for being with us tonight on Y254. Have a good night.